Hello, my name is Keith Hill and I'm with Home Run Automation and Safety. Today's video will be covering the response time adjustment procedure using our F3SG-RA Safety Global Light Curtain along with our SD Manager 2 software. I am presently online with the light curtain and have performed a factory reset on the light curtain. In order to know how to do that, you can visit our videos and review the getting online and setting the light curtain back to factory default video. All right, with the response time adjustment, you do have the ability to use it with any one of these features. For now, I'm just going to go in and show you how to set this up. Right now, we just need to go in and select the response time adjustment icon, and that will bring us to the response time adjustment window. There's not much you set here. You either have a choice of normal or slow. With the normal setting, with my particular light curtain that I have, while in code A setting, I'm going to get about 7 milliseconds worth of uh, response time. If I select the slow radial icon, it'll double that speed. So I'll basically have a response time of 14 milliseconds. This is a nice feature in case, for some example, you have like flies flying through and it's tripping your light curtain or mist or smoke of some sorts. You can slow the response time down of the light curtain. But in doing so, you do need to recalculate your safety distance because now the, the light curtain won't be as quick in responding to an object going into the light curtain. So, really all you would need to do is, is you would either need to select normal or slow. So in most cases, I would just kind of play with it and see if everything works fine. If you need to, then select slow. You come up here, you write the configuration to the light curtain, and then you should be ready to go. Right now, I'm just going to basically keep it normal so I can demonstrate how it is normally, and then what happens when I go to the slow. But just so you know, when you do click the right icon, a window will come up, and if you have changed any settings, it will be highlighted in yellow, and then you can just write that to the light curtain cancel on that okay so now we'll go live and show you how this works okay presently I have the light curtain set up in normal operation uh, or normal speed and I'm going to go and demonstrate how an object um, you know can actually affect the light curtain in case like you have a bug flying through it or whether there's smoke uh, that type of thing that could actually affect the light curtain. So I just have a wadded up piece of paper here that I'm just going to kind of throw through the light curtain. We'll have a little fun with this video and um, let's just kind of let you see what happens if something does fly through it. You can see the light curtain actually does detect it. So that could be cumbersome if there is flies or something to that effect floating around. So you never know what type of environmental things could give you problems with it. Well that's what's the nice feature about this uh, response thing is that you can slow down the response speed of the light curtain so stuff like that does not affect it but remember you do need to recalculate your actual safety distance in case you do need to use this feature. Now I've gone and set up the light curtain for the slow response mode. So you'll notice now that if I actually go and get something thrown through it, it doesn't really affect it going through. It is affecting it coming out in some cases because it's a little bit slower. But you can see where it's not as responsive now as it was before when the uh, unit was set up in the normal mode. Thus kind of showing the capability of how You'll see if I come down here a little bit more and don't bounce it through the light curtain, it does actually slow the response time down of the light curtain. So that ends today's demonstration of the response time. Thank you very much and have yourself a great day.